We mark 2 inches from the base of the skirt. These 2 inches will serve as our Emmy allowance. So from that 2 inches, you mark the desired skirt length. So now I'm marking out the desired skirt length that I want to use. So this is the waistline and that's the hemline plus the 2 inches for the folding. So from the waistline, I'm marking out 8 inches. That's where the hip measurements will be carried out. So this is the waistline and this is the hip line. So carry out the waist measurement on this waistline, the waist measurement divided by 4 plus 2 inches. Then on the hip line, you divide the hip measurement by 4 plus 2 inches. And on the M line, you transfer the hip measurement to the M line and you reduce by one and a half inches to have that pencil shape. And you trace out like so. And on this waistline, at the center front, you go in by half an inch, and at the side, you go up by half an inch, and you shape it out as seen. So this is our front part. Now we cut. Now to cut the back of the skirt, we place the front part like so and for the back vent to overlap, I'm marking out 3 inches, I'm checking if the folding is correct, so I'm marking out 3 inches to have an overlapping slit or vent and on this waistline, the upper side of the back we go higher than the front part by half an inch and the side must be equal so you remember we deducted half an inch on the center front so we are returning the half to the back part so now I'm marking out the zipper allowance marking one and a half inches from the three inches that we folded 
so this part depends on how open you want your slit to be so here I use 7 inches apart from the 2 inches we are going to use to fold the base of the skirt if you calculate the 2 inches with it, it will give you 9 but for the vent proper I used 7 inches so on the waistline at the zipper side you go in by half an inch to shape it so that you can have a fitting band and you shape through to the knee line You can leave this area on cut like this to be pleated or you can slit it open. Now to the dart. Here I am using 4 inches on both the front part and the back part and the notch. The dart leg for the front is 4 inches and the dart leg for the back is 5 inches. Now to cut the facing for the skirt, we are going to take in the dart first. You take it to the sewing machine. And taking the dart but in this tutorial I'm using pin to quickly do justice to this <laughs> so now I'm pinning the dart down to stop at four inches this is the front part and I will do the same to the other side of the dart place on the fabric and mark out the coffee waistline you can see it's now curved because the dart has been taken in. you mark out the shape on the waistline and at the side of the skirt then you mark the desired length of your facing in this tutorial I marked three inches
you can use sewing machine to secure this part or a saja. Then use this facing to turn the front and the back of the skirt. And remember to top stitch.